Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Cloud Ops Junction. So, in this video, uh, we will look how we can enable the remote control functionality for the helpdesk user. Not only for the helpdesk user, for for other people also. Uh, there are scenarios in our environment where we require to have the access of end user machines for any reason. Suppose we have deployed an application or we required to collect the log so we wanted to connect to the machine while user is logged in so uh, this remote control features uh, gives us the facility where we can connect to the machines without user is being logged in in normal scenarios uh, what people can do people rdp the machines and do the backend stuff uh, on uh, on this remote control feature we can actually take the control by screen sharing it's a kind of a screen sharing that we can enable on the user's machine so uh, before do that uh, let me show you one thing uh, i wanted to show you something uh, we can it, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a very small task to do it and we can do it it's an agent that will got deployed and uh, it's it's an agent that we need to enable it so if so if I go on my domain controller, suppose I go on my domain controller and if I control, if I click on configuration manager components and here you will find a agent called a remote agent. Let me see if it is here. Yes, it is here remote tool agent and by default it is disabled. Once this gets disabled, you will be able to take the control of the machines. Okay, and it's not that everyone who have the access on SCCM can do it. You can actually do the RBAC. You can control it by using a group or by selecting the users. So how we can do it? Let's do one thing. Let's create a rim a group. Uh, that will be helpful for us to add the users. So let's create a group called uh, uh, let's create a group let's create a security group with the global helpdesk underscore remote so the, there is a team called helpdesk who are the initially point of contact for the users and they wanted to gather the information from the machine so they, they need required access to them, their machines so we'll create it and let's add ourselves into it I think I'm logged in with the lab admin so we'll logged in as a lab admin apply okay so group is ready let's jump into the control uh, S let's, let's jump into the SCCM and let's configure it so now we are on our SCCM and to configure it we will go to administrator and we will go to the site cl client settings default client setting if you want you can create a custom client settings or here also but uh, we don't want to manage it otherwise we have to change the priority let's uh, make in changes into the default setting and you will find a remote control a remote tool and by default it is disable you can see to enable it you just need to click on configure enable and these are the uh, firewall rules that you need to enable it and by default when you enable it there are some of the ports that is required to be enabled that is 17012 1704 if I'm not wrong just click on enable and now there are some of the uh, settings that you can uh, uh, you have to allow it so let's check the first user can change the policy of the notification of the no we don't want users to allow remote control of any unattended machine what is unattended machines like if a machine is locked off or a locked position or no one is logged into it uh, we can still take the control prompt the users for remote control that means whenever you are taking the control there will be a prompt of the users machines that they have to allow or disallow it so we want yes uh, prompt users permissions to transfer data no we don't want it uh, so by default these are the settings that uh, is required so we will keep it as a default but you have to configure you have to give the permissions right to give the permissions you have to click on this option called uh, permit users for the remote control and remote access assistance so we'll go on click on star we will browse and you will find the name we have created I think it was 
help desk underscore remote yeah it's that okay click apply okay uh, let's do one thing let's quickly refresh the policies uh, okay uh, I can refresh the policies from the SCCM also what we can do we can click on client setting download users policy or as well as we can go on users machine and we can do it from there also so let's jump into the users machine and do it from there so we are on domain controller let me quickly open I mean it's a bad example to uh, to enable that we are taking the control of a remote con uh, of a domain controller but just for a example I'm doing it let's do it user and policy that's all let's close and open it and let's go to the component and see this the remote tool agent is now enabled let's try let's go to the uh, SCCM and try to take the control so we are on SCCM we will right click on it uh, we will right click on it start take the remote and you the uh, full session will be connected see we have taken the control now I hope you have liked this video uh, if you are new to the channel please subscribe it thank you so much for watching this video